Sunday, Sunday. It's race day. We are the last pair. We got Billy Billy Torts. It's about 65 degrees. Wind is about 25 miles an hour. It looks like it's a headwind, so it's coming straight up the track. Uh, it's, it should be really fast. off the line first good drag race 366 Brittany force going to the final round all right y'all we are back uh, guys are getting the car broke down get her ready to go back in the box Brittany goes the quickest of the weekend so far 366 to our 370 had a heck of a run clay was like 88 on the tree to her like 79 something like that uh, they had a great weekend I, these conditions were perfect for Grubby. He was going to lay it down. We knew he was. So, we're going to pick up for the semis, for the pro categories. The other side of the semis for top fuel is Sean Langdon versus Doug Coletta. Fuzzy for second at points. And so, Sean Langdon has a chance to make top fuel as interesting this year as it was last year. Maybe the most competitive season in top fuel history. And we're seeing that 12 months after the championship came down to the final run of the season. It's Langdon right, the Coletta Air, Coletta Careers machine. It's Doug left, the Mac Tools machine, the reigning world champion, trying to keep his hopes for back-to-back -back alive. Sean off the line first. Doug smokes the tires. Hang on, Sean. Over to the center line. Did he get it? Oh, Sean Langdon lost a tire. Sean Langdon lost the tire. He went 368. I do not know if he got the center line before the stripe. It looks like he might have from where I'm at. And Sean Langdon just did a hero's job of keeping that race car off the wall on the top end. 368, 330 if it counts for Langdon. But I'm looking down there, and I do believe I see blocks have gone flying. And Sean Langdon is missing a tire on the back of that Coletta Air machine. Heartbreak for Sean, and you can see it on his face. You can see it by the body language. Doug Coletta is gonna go to the finals. Here's another look. Langdon was off the line first, 0.45, he was driving away. Doug Coletta just passed half track. Wow, it blew the motor up, and look at Langdon's car. Spins the tires, moves left, gets over towards the center line. and gets the blocks, and the debris is what's gonna shred that tire. He went over the blocks with the front of the car, threw them both under the rear tire, probably parts and pieces off the body as well, 
and it shredded that Goodyear. And Sean Langdon does a fantastic job right here of keeping the car off the wall. I mean, he's fighting that thing to the left. He's hard on the brakes. He's got it sliding. Just don't hit the wall. Sean Langdon's thinking. One of the most expensive rounds Connie Collette has ever had. It's his nephew and the reigning world champion going to the final. Another look at Doug Coletta's car and watch this. This is going to be expensive. Parts and pieces go flying from that machine. Obviously a mechanical failure for Doug. The automatic shutoff system throws the chutes on that race car. And then look at all the debris go flying in front of Doug. He's got to do some evasive driving there as well. Sparks off of Langdon's car from the rim. And look at Sean Langdon. For Pro Mod, they will crown their champion. I'm going to do those semis. And then, of course, Pro Stock Car, Pro Stock Motorcycle, Funny Car, so on. We're going to do all the semis. Let's do that right now. Location change. It's Monday. Uh, they stopped the race yesterday after Langdon lost his tire to Doug Coletta because he crossed the center line. Uh, they stopped it because it was, by the time they got it clean, it was so cold. So they're resuming it today. I want to kick it off with Pro Mods. I didn't really talk about them yesterday. This was their last race. This was their race to the championship. Coming in, the top five are Khaled Al Belushi, Justin Bond, Jordan Lazic, King Cartuccio, and Mason Wright. Uh, Khaled went out first round. Wright went out first round. Bond went out second round on a whole shot, and then Cartuccio red lighted second round. So their semis ended up being Jordan Lazic versus Chris Thorne and Mike Janis versus Mike Thielen. To win is first. The eyes of the world on the strip at LVMS. Pro modified racing at its pinnacle. Lazic and Thorne sit pre-staged. Jordan goes in, cracks the throttle. Thorne goes in. They're off the starting line together, but it's Chris Thorne with 200 advantage. But Thorne smokes one. It's going to be Jordan Lazic. Jordan Lazic wins the race, wins the championship. 575 9, 247 57. And Jordan Lazic is your 2024 Congruity HR Pro Modified World. The team going wild on the starting line. A genuine and true worldwide motorsport. We appreciate all the effort and support. Janice goes in, waiting on Thielen. Amber's flash, double, oh, seven reaction time for Mike Janice, but Mike Thielen is right there with him at the top end. The number one qualifier is going to the final round. Mike Janice is on a mission. 572-9 will have lane choice against Jordan Lazic. It's going to be your number one qualifier versus your newly crowned world champion, all right, well, congrats to Jordan Lassick on his championship. Now he gets to go to the final and see if he can just wrap the whole weekend up. Um, Pro Stock Motorcycle, Matt and Gage battling it out for that first spot in the points. We know Gage is leading, but Matt got took out on a whole shot by Chase Van Sant in second round. So it's up to his wife, Angie, because she's still in. She has Chase Van Sant in the semis, and then Gage has Hector Arana Jr. Motorcycle. Four different teams. That doesn't happen very often. But we got Angie for Team Smith. We got Chase for Team Gator. We got Hector for Team Hector. And we got old what's his name? Who seems like almost nobody can beat. Finish line. Angie Smith goes 689. 194 miles an hour. Good solid run for the pink Denzo bike. Heads up. Pro stock car coming up behind you. Thank you. Chase Van Zandt goes 692. Not enough. Back the all-conquering Gage Herrera got a chance to put a little space between himself and Matt Smith going into in and out drag strip in Pomona. 681. Look at the high fives down there on the starting line. That's right where Gage qualified. An 017 reaction time and a 681 at 196. Heck. All right, so Matt got Angie in the final. Well, I'll say that. Matt and Angie got themselves in the final. Her against Gage. Uh, pro stock car. So we know Dallas Glenn and Aaron Stanfield are battling it out for that first spot. Dallas goes in as the points leader, but he got knocked out first round. Aaron is all the way to the semis. Aaron will have David Quadra and Greg Anderson will have Christian Quadra. These two are going to have to battle it out amongst themselves. There will be a madhouse on the starting line if Quadra makes it to the final round. 
red light. Oh, and they both squared the tires. Oh, that's heartbreaking. David Quadra dropped the clutch, 005 too soon, turned the tires square. Aaron Stanfield dropped the clutch and also turned the tires square. And as Aaron Stanfield idles his way down the racetrack, I can tell you this, that scoreboard lights up on the Las Vegas side. Any moment now. 32.75 seconds and Aaron Stanfield will be the point leader when we go to Pomona. The entire KB Titan team on the other. Greg's ready, Christian's ready. Both drivers away on the green and both drivers away clean. Christian Quadra trying to steal one away from Greg Anderson. Top end ain't gonna happen. 6.599, 207 miles an hour for the win. Funny car. So this is the first weekend John Force is back at the racetrack. Fun Car Semis is going to be Austin Prock versus Blake Alexander and Jack Begman versus Paul Lee. And on the other, it's Funny Car, it's Final Four. The winner goes to the final round. 18 hours later than what we were hoping. Blake Alexander takes the tire off and Austin goes 3.8, 5, 9, 328 miles an hour. Very Jimmy Prock-like. Paul Lee just here to play spoiler. Jack Beckman trying to lock down number two in the points for John Force. No tire smoke here. We'll just, whoa, way over by the wall and check it out. Paul Lee wins it on a little baby hole shot. Paul Lee had nine thousandths in his pocket when he left the starting line. Paul Lee goes 3.834. Do they have a couple hundreds in that thing? Apparently they do. Nine thou difference at this end of the racetrack. Margin of victory, 002, and Paul Lee will run Austin Proc. Let's get to some finals. Pro Mod, Jordan Lassick versus Mike Janis. One time, one run for a trophy. The last trophy of the year. Championship has already been decided. The only trophy left to award is Ford Performance Nationals champion. It's either gonna go to New York or it's gonna go to British Columbia. One has to wonder if Jordan was upset about not being able to celebrate the championship last night because he had to come in here and race again today. Red light! Oh, Mike Janis dropped the hammer too, hun, too soon. Too bad. 572, 251 miles an hour for Jordan. A double 08 reaction time. And Bahrain won, wins the championship, wins the race. Pro Stop Motorcycle, Angie Smith versus Gage Herrera. For Motul, Revzilla. Those things spent 14,000 RPM zipping down. Gage made a backbreaking, at least from my seat, run earlier at 681. If he does that again, it'll probably be a long quarter mile for Angie. But Angie has got a solid motorcycle. If Gage slips up, and I mean just a little, she certainly can take advantage. They ease him into the beams. Gage is ready. Angie's ready. And Gage is off to the races. He is not leaving any doubt. 679. Holy smokes, 197 miles an hour, even with the headwind. Low ET of the event. Pro Stock Car, Aaron Stanfield versus Greg Anderson. Greg Anderson trying to stay close before we head to Pomona. KB on one side, Elite on the other. They're in, they're ready, they're green. Greg drives left. Aaron, right straight down the boulevard, finish line. 660 beats a 659. Aaron Stanfield, a little bitty hole shot by five thousandths of a second. He's 023. Greg Anderson is 043. And Aaron Stanfield will take the lead, take the momentum, take the trophy. 
Funny Car, Paul Lee versus Austin Prop. Trying to get Paul his first ever in a nitro car, and Austin Proc trying to just keep piling on as he's been doing all year long. Cylinder out for Paul Lee at the step, and Austin goes 3.830. Disregard the speed. Paul Lee goes 398 on seven cylinders. Race fans, John is down on the starting line. Welcome back, 16 time champ. Top fuel, the champ, Doug Coletta versus Brittany Force. He needs his wind light. Coletta in the left. Force in the right. One time. One time. For a Vegas trophy. Doug takes the tire off. Welcome back to the winner's circle, Brittany. 3.7033 332 miles an hour. Brittany back in the winner's circle for the first time in a while. All right, guys, that is it for Vegas. Congrats to all the winners, Jordan Lassick from the championship and the win, Gage, Austin, uh, Aaron Stanfield took over the points. Uh, of course, Brittany, they did a double up for John. Being back on the fir at the first race was cool for them. So congrats to all of them. I will be in attendance for Pomona. I'll be back live over in the pits. Y'all come join me this weekend. We had a, a, a heck of a time with the internet. So hopefully this next go around won't be like that. I appreciate all y'all joining me. I appreciate you guys watching, like, and subscribing. Leave me a comment because you know I love it.